Hi there and welcome to 1000 English Grammar Test Practice Questions with NextGenEnglish.com. These are questions 61 to 80. Now if you are on NextGenEnglish.com, just scroll down the page and of course take the test before watching uh, the rest of this video. Try to answer all of the questions, see how many you can get correct uh, and then uh, come back and watch the video. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, look in the description box for the link to the page on nextgenenglish.com with the test. Okay, so let's uh, start. So question number one is, it's something at the moment. Is it, it's rains at the moment? It's will rain at the moment? It's rained at the moment or it's raining at the moment? Of course, all of the questions in this video are present continuous questions. So in order to answer all 20 questions, of course, we need to know the structure for present continuous sentences. Now, there are three different present continuous forms that we uh, look at in this video. So the first one is positive present continuous sentences. And then, of course, negative present continuous and question form, the question form. Uh, so first of all, this sentence is, of course, uh, it's, it's a positive uh, present continuous sentence. So the structure for these are subject uh, and then B and then uh, the verb with ing. OK, so the verb should always end in ing. We should always have a verb with ing in a present continuous positive or a positive present continuous sentence. So it should be subject then B, then the verb with ing. So uh, let's see uh, if we can uh, complete this sentence now then. So we've got here the subject, uh, which is it uh, in this sentence. Uh, and well, we've got something here. We've got an apostrophe and an S. So this is a contraction. So this is, of course, it is. So here we have B. OK, so we've got subject. And then we've got B. So what do we need next? What's coming next? Of course, it's the verb with ing. So if we have a look at the answers, it should be very simple, very straightforward. So it rains, of course, we don't have ing here. We don't, there's no ing, there's no ing. Okay, so we can rule all of these out immediately. So this should be very simple. It is raining at the moment is, of course, something which is happening now. So maybe a good way or a good little rhyme to remember this rule is if it started before and it's happening now, the rule is so easy. Use subject, be, verb, ing. Okay, subject, be, verb, ing. So that's what we have here, the subject, then be in the form of is, then the verb with ing. So the next question, Question number two, something listening. Is it the whole group listening? Sylvia didn't listening. Could you please listening? Or are you really listening? Uh, now, this question is in question form, all right? So this is slightly different. Uh, if we have a look at the positive present continuous sentence structure, remember we had the subject and then we had B, and then we had the verb with ing. Now, for question form, it's very simple. All we need to do is swap the subject and B. So for questions in present continuous sentences, we need B, and then subject, and then verb with ing. Of course, always ending in a or with a question mark. So, what we need to look for now is this structure. So, we need from the answers to start well, there to be a B and then a subject and then the verb with ing. So, the whole group, okay, so this is a subject. We've got a subject here, but there's no B, there's no is, am, or are. It's not here. So, we know it's not uh, A. Sylvia didn't. So we've got Sylvia, subject. Now, did 
Is that B? No, it's not a form of B. Okay, so don't forget that B is is or am or are. And did is what we might use for a present simple sentence. Okay, so if it's present simple, then of course we wouldn't have the ing. It would be Sylvia didn't listen. Uh, however, we don't. We have. Uh, the ing here of course and uh, we're ending in a question mark so could you please okay so this is a polite way uh, to request something of course so I mean if we if we take these off the could and the please then of course we've got the subject but again we don't have B uh, and then so well of course it should be option D but uh, let's just uh, try and think about the reasons why so we here we've got uh, B in the form of R, okay, B in the form of R, and then we've got U, a subject, okay, and here is the verb with ING, of course, so are you, but what's this, okay, so we have an adverb, all right, now, with present continuous sentences, okay, we can put the adverb either before the verb with ING, or we can put it after maybe depending on which adverb that we're using. However, this really, uh, for example, goes before. So are you really listening? Or we might say, uh, are you listening carefully? Okay, so in that case, it would go after the verb with ing. However, this is fine. So this adverb um, goes here. So we've got be and then subject and then the verb with ing. So of course, the correct answer is D. Question number three. Teresa and something playing tennis. Is it we were, I are, I am, or Teresa and she is playing tennis? Now, here we need to think about the subject. Again, let's, let's just put the structure just to remind ourselves. So this is a positive sentence. So we've got subject and then B and then the verb with ING. So here the subject, this subject is not actually complete. All right, so trees are and. We need another part of a subject. So here we've got, we've got we, we've got I, we've got she. But what, however this is finished, however this we find this subject, should really dictate or tell us which form of B we have to use, okay? So, Teresa and something, this is going, this is a group, this is a group. So it's either going to be we, or they, okay, or it could be you. All right, but, Essentially, it's not he or she or it. So here, this should let us know which form of B we should be using uh, for that to go with this subject. So Teresa and we, can you say Teresa and we? Uh, possibly, but not in this context because we're talking about playing tennis, okay? So if we were gonna say that, it would just be we we were playing tennis. We wouldn't have Teresa and we before that. So Teresa and I, possibly. Teresa and I am. Okay, so again, if we had Teresa and I, then what we need to know is the pronoun or how we would describe these would be we, wouldn't it? It would be we. So Teresa and I is we, and of course with we, it's not we am, it's we are. Okay, so we can rule this out. And then just a confirm Teresa and she okay um, that might be possible in in a particular context so Teresa and she is of course if we said Teresa and she it's a group it's two people so it would be they and of course they would have to go with are not is in which case uh, this is not correct so yes Teresa and I are playing tennis Question number four, I something home. Is it I have to going home? I am going to home. 
I am going home or I going to go home. Uh, okay, so again, let's put the structure in. Subject, be, verb, with ing. So we've got the subject here, uh, and now we need a we need be a form of be, and then we need the verb with ing. So have. I have to going is that be? Remember be is is or am or are. So of course have it doesn't go in that group. Um, so it's not a, and of course there's no be here in. In option D. So it's either B or C. All right. So I am going to home or I am going home. Of course, the only difference here being this two. And this perhaps is a common mistake made by English learners um, to use to home. I am going to home. You know, it might seem to make sense, but the reason why this is not correct, the reason why it's not I'm going to home, is because home is actually an adverb of place. All right, which means that it's like up or down. Yeah, I'm going up, we're going up in, in the lift, uh, or we're going down the escalator, we're, we're heading, we're, go, we're going north. Okay, we're going south to visit my cousin, or something like that. So it's an adverb of place. So we don't use to. You don't say we are going to up or we are going to down. No. Okay, so uh, it's the same with home. It fits in the same category. So I am going home. Question number five. Simon's old kettle, something working. So is it isn't? doesn't, aren't, or not. So Simon's old kettle. Uh, again, this is a positive sentence. So we've got subject, be, uh, the verb with ing. Uh, so we need to figure out uh, the subject. So is the subject Simon? Is it Simon is old kettle? We need, we need to we need to think about what this apostrophe S is. We need to think about uh, why that's here. Now, of course, in this sentence, this apostrophe S is possessive. Okay, so that means that uh, what comes after it belongs to the thing that goes before it. Okay, so the old kettle belongs to Simon. This is possessive. All right, so Simon's old kettle, which means that all of this is our subject, okay? This is the subject, Simon's old kettle. The old kettle of Simon. Simon's old kettle. So we've got the subject. Now we need, and of course we've got verb with ing, working. So what we need here is be. So we can rule out doesn't because do, remember be, is, is, or am, or are. So we can rule out doesn't because this is do. Uh, and of course, not doesn't work either because we don't have is, am, or are. So it's either isn't or aren't. Of course, Simon's old kettle, we need to think about if this is singular or plural. So what does it go with? Remember, is goes with he or she or it. Okay, and then I am, and of course we, you, or they are. So Simon's old kettle is of course it. So we're looking at it is. So Simon's old kettle isn't working. Question number six. My parents are something. My parents are make me boxing. My parents are making me quit box. My parents are making me quit boxing. Or my parents are make me quitting boxing. So this is a positive sentence again. Let's uh, 
same again. Let's remind ourselves, subject B, uh, B, uh, and then with verb, and ing. So my parents, my parents, this is the subject, and then we've got B in the form of R. So what we need next is the verb with ing. So the main verb here is of course make. Uh, or of course it would need to be making, wouldn't it? Because we're looking at the present continuous. So we can rule out A and D because there's no ing after make. So here we've got making and making. So it's either B or C. And they're exactly the same, except for the the last two words. And of course, what this here in this question, this is uh, a, a question of meaning here. Okay, so we need to know, think about the meaning because one of these uh, is well. Of course, this is the one that makes sense, isn't it? Making me quit boxing. You know, it's we we we've spoken about boxing, of course. We've got a pair of boxing gloves, they're not box gloves. Okay, so the meaning here of it, making me quit box, if there was a game called box or a something, you know, called box, uh, then this would be correct as well, but uh, there isn't. So, of course, we, we could have a box or the box, in which case uh, we would need an article uh, to go before uh, the noun, but of course it doesn't really make sense. They're making me quit box. It should be boxing. Okay. So question number seven, uh, something applying for this job. Is it why are you? Why did you? Why you are? Or why do you want to applying for this job? Uh, okay, so this is of course question. It's a question. So question form. Uh, and as we said, we swap the subject in B. So the question form for present continuous sentences is B, and then subject, and then the verb with ing. So, and of course, here we're all starting with Y. So this is an open question. This is a WH question. All right, so this is a, a WH question. Uh, but we still have the same form here. So we're looking for B. All right, so we can rule this out. Why did you is not correct. Uh, why do you? These are do, do questions. Uh, so we've got B here and B here. So why are you or why you are, of course, B should come first and then the subject. Here we've got B and then the subject. So it's a why are you applying for this job and not C. I'm not something shopping mall. Is it I'm not going? I'm, go I'm not going the shopping mall. I'm not going to shopping mall or I'm not going to the shopping mall. So this is another, well, actually, this is a negative present continuous sentence that we have here. So for negative, it's very simple. Uh, so instead of just having uh, subject and then B and then the verb with ing, we, we put not. Okay, so not goes between B and the verb the verb with ing of course so subject be not subject be not so we've got subject here which is i and then we've got b uh, and then we've got not so all we need to go here should be the verb with ing so i'm not going well all of these have going so we need to work out how we're going to connect going with shopping mall you know um, how do these two parts of this sentence go together? So we know this is going because these are, these are in every option. So I'm not going shopping mall. Of course, with going in this context, 
you go to, you go to a place, okay? So when you travel somewhere or, you know, move to, to, from one location to another location, you, what do you do? You go to, all right, so going and going the, we can rule them out straight away. So we need go, going to or going to the. Now we had a previous, previous example, which was I'm not, uh, which was uh, I'm going home uh, in the previous question. Of course, in that case, we didn't need to, uh, but that was for an adverb of place. But of course, shopping mall, this is a place, it's a, a specific place, and it's a noun. Not only is it a place, it's a noun. So here we need an article. Okay, we need an article to go with this because it's, well, it's not plural. Uh, and so I am not going to the shopping mall is the correct answer. So question number nine, the new marketing campaigns, something superbly, is it are working, working, is working, or are work? So the new marketing campaigns. Now here, what we need to do first of all is decide exactly what this apostrophe S means. What does this uh, mean here? Uh, so if we put the structure, this is positive. So B, oh, sorry, subject, B, verb with ing. So the new marketing campaigns. Now, is this like a previous question? Is this apostrophe S, is it possessive? Or is this B? Is this a form of B? Okay, so what it actually is, is this is the subject, the new marketing campaign, and this apostrophe S means is. Okay, so here we've got the subject, and we've got B. This is the subject, this is B, the new marketing campaign is. So what do we need next? We need the verb with ing. Uh, so here is, this is not correct. A because you'd have to have BB. The new marketing campaign is R. No, that doesn't work, does it? Uh, so is it working? Uh, in fact, all of these, we can rule these out. So it's not is, is, or R work. Of course, the new marketing campaign is working superbly. Question number 10. The most exciting part, something next. <laughs> is it is come, is coming, coming or will. All right, so another positive sentence, positive present continuous. So subject, be, verb with ing. So the most exciting part, this is the subject, the most exciting part. So what do we need next? We've got the subject, we need be. So we can rule this out. It's not coming, it's not will. So is it is come or is coming? Of course, we need the verb with ing and there's no ing here. So the correct answer is B. The most exciting part is coming next. Question number 11. All of your something off. Is it training is finally paying off? Paying is finally off, training is finally pay, or training are finally paying off. All of your training are finally paying off. So again, subject, B, verb with ing. So all of your something, all of your, mm, again, we have a subject which is not complete. So all, all of your training, all of your paying, what that tells us is that these words here, they are not the main verb, okay? So they are part of the subject, all right? Because of course, for all of these, we've got B coming next. So it's either all of your training or all of your paying. Uh, and then we, if we just can decide that, then we should be able to decide if it's is or are. Uh, so, of course, remember, we need 
ing in every sentence. Uh, so we can rule out b because there's no ing here and there's no ing here. So it's not c. So it's either all of your training is finally paying off or all of your training are finally paying off. Okay, now in, for that, to decide that, uh, what we need to, or to decide what, we're going, what we have to write here, we need to decide whether the subject should go with is or are. In this case, we've got all. Okay, so all of your something. So all of your should tell us if it's is or are. Okay, but all of your, we need to know what this refers to because it could be either. It could be either is or are at this stage. So here we're looking at training again. Okay, so all of your training. So we need to decide whether training is, is it training is or training are. Of course, training is uncountable. It's something which is uncountable. And when we have something uncountable, we always use is. The rice, the, the rice is hot. The tea is very nice. Uh, the milk is nearly finished. All right, so all of your training is finally paying off. So the answer is option A. Question number 12. We something of the process. We are conduct a reviewing. We are conducting, we are conduct a review. <laughs> We conducting a review or we are conducting a review. So again, for the 12th time, uh, let's put uh, the structure. So subject, subject, be, verb, with ing. So we've got the subject here. Uh, and then we need to, well, okay, so we can rule out C straight away, can't we, because there's no B. So, of course, so we are, and then after R, so we got we are. After R, we need the verb with ing, okay? So the main verb here is conduct. So no ing here, so it's not A. No ing here, so it's not B. Of course, D, we are conducting a review of the process. Question number 13. She's something a shortcut. Is it she's taking a shortcut? Is it she's is taking a shortcut? She's are taking a shortcut or she's take a shortcut? Of course, well, uh, let's kind of just head straight to this should be very simple. Uh, this question, so it, we, we know it's not take, we've got no ing here. Um, and of course, that we've got the subject, haven't we? We've got B. So we don't need a double B, she's, is, is. No, 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 that's not correct. She's, is, are, of course. She is taking a shortcut is the correct answer. Question number 14. These late nights are affect my concentrating. These late nights are affecting my concentrate or is it affecting my concentration? Or is it these late nights are affect my concentrating? So again, subject, be, verb with ing for the present continuous positive sentence. So these late nights are, so we've got these late nights, this is the subject. And then we've got r, which is be, and then we need the verb with ing. This is an S and not a five, by the way. So we can rule this one out, affect, because the, the main verb here is affect. So with, there's no ing here, so it's not A. There's no ing here, so it's not D. So is it affecting my concentrate or affecting my concentration? Uh, in that case, th so this is another question of meaning, so we need to, Think about, you know, which one of these is correct. It is, of course, concentration because concentrate, this would need to be a noun. This would need to be a noun. And of course, the, the noun concentrate, this means like a liquid where, you know, the water has been reduced or, or you know, removed, for example, 
a juice, you know, that you have to mix with water, uh, something like this. So uh, late nights, would they affect uh, a concentrate? Uh, I'm not so sure. So that's uh, a question of meaning. So it should be concentration. Question number 15. The company's something rival bids for the manufacturing plant. Is it preparing? Are preparing? Is preparing? Or are prepare? So the company's uh, is our subject. Uh, and then we need, what do we need? We need B, don't we? So we can rule out A. Uh, so it's either R or is. Okay, so the companies, this is, of course, plural, the companies. Okay, so we can rule out is, because the companies would be they. They are, so we need to say they are. So is it preparing or prepare? Of course, what do we need? We need ing, so we can rule this out. The companies are preparing rival bids for the manufacturing plant. Question number 16. They are something for each other. Uh, they are feelings are developing for each other. They are developing strong feelings for each other. They are develop strong feelings for each other. Or they are developing feelings are strong for each other. So here we have the subject, they. And we've got B in the form of R. So what should be next is, of course, verb with ing. Um, the main verb here is actually developing or develop. All right. So here we can rule out A uh, because this is, of course, feelings here is a noun. OK, so this is not a verb with ing. We could say their feelings are developing, okay? But in that case, the subject would be their feelings, okay? So this is a different kind of their. This is they are, and this is their. Uh, so this doesn't work. It's not correct, okay? Uh, and then, so we need to decide, of course, there's no ing here. Uh, so it's developing strong feelings or developing feelings are strong. Of course, we've already got B here, so we don't need two Bs. All right, so we can rule out D. So, of course, the correct answer is they are developing strong feelings for each other. Question number 17, something the same as you. Is it I'm not getting the same as you? I'm going, I'm going to getting the same as you. I'm going to get the same as you, or I'm not going. We should, of course, by now, be able to, after 16 questions, be able to rule this out straight away. There's no ing. So uh, we would need a, a verb with ing, which doesn't happen in option C. So we can rule this one out. So this could either be, you know, perhaps this is a negative sentence or perhaps not. Um, so let's have a look. We've got the subject in all of these, and then we've got B. So we need the verb with ing. So, I mean, this could be negative, in which case here we've got the verb with ing. Um, here we've got I am going to getting. Of course, this going to is the future going to or would be the future because it comes before a verb. In that case, this would need to be verb one, okay? I'm going to get the same as you or the same thing as you. And of course, that's not present continuous and these questions are present continuous questions. So we can rule this out. Uh, and of course it had ing anyway. So I'm not going the same as, as you. Remember we said you go to so I'm not going to the same thing as you. Okay, so if we would, if thing meant a place, then you would have to say I'm not going to the same thing as you. Uh, so of course this is not correct. So the answer is A, I'm not getting the same thing as you. 
maybe if we're talking about uh, food, uh, if two people were going to get some food, they might get something different. Question number 18. She's something at the moment. Is it she's studying computer engineering at the moment? She study computer engineering at the moment. She studying computer engineer at the moment, or she study computer engineer at the moment. Same thing again. We should be able. To, the the main verb here is of course study, so we should be able to rule these two out. Study because there is no ing, so it's either a or c. Uh, she's studying computer engineering, or she's studying computer engineer. Now, this might be right if we had an article here. Uh, is she studying a computer engineer? <laughs> if uh, she wanted to study another person, uh, then that would make sense. But we don't have an article here, so it's not C. Um, it is, of course, A. She's studying computer engineering at the moment. Question number 19. Is the something? Is the heating still works? Is the heating still work? Is the heating still is working? Or is the heating still working? This is, of course, question form of present continuous. So we need to start this time with B and then the subject, and then the verb with ing. So that's what we have, we've got B, and then our subject is incomplete. So this heating is of course part of the subject, and then what we have is an adverb. Okay, so is the heating, which is the subject, so all of these are the same. And then an adverb, still. So what are we missing now? We're missing the verb with ing. So we can rule these out. So is it C or D? Of course, we already have B. We don't need two Bs in the same sentence. So we can rule that out. It is, of course, is the heating still working? Question number 20, the final question. The situation is something the divisions between the two groups. Is it depreciating, depending, depredating, or deepening? Uh, so this is a question of meaning. Okay, so we just need to really understand what these words mean. And well, there is actually a phrase, a very common phrase, okay, which is... Uh, deep divisions or to deepen divisions, all right, uh, between between something, between two groups. So it's not uh, depreciating, uh, which is something losing value, or depending, which is, uh, you know, when one thing depends on another thing, relies or to rely on something, uh, or depredating, which is to steal something, uh, to take something that somebody else uh, owns. It is, of course, deepening uh, divisions, making uh, the divisions between two things, two groups, stronger, deeper, wider, um, making them further apart. Okay, so, so that was the final question. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow nextgenenglish.com for more videos and more English learning resources. Thanks for watching. See you.